Meredith is joining us today from Cartwheels, and Cartwheels, actually the full name, Cartwheels Paper and Gifts. Mm -hmm. You brought an array of items with you. I did, I did. Let's start with this. Meredith, what is Cartwheels? I mean, paper and gifts. We are, we are, uh, we are an all-inclusive papers and gift store in Louisville, Kentucky, in St. Matthew's area. And we, uh, right now, we're really focusing on wedding invitations. Yes. Finally, weddings are back on, which is great because for a couple of years, everybody was postponing or having small intimate ceremonies. Mm -hmm. So now the big parties are happening again, which I'm thrilled about. I think all I, it's a rare person who isn't at least involved or invited who isn't going, oh, we're back. Yes. So does that mean because we've spent so much time in, in athleisure and Zoom and emails and all of that, are people finally going back to... Let's big parties. Big, big is more. Yeah, well, weddings for the last year have been outstanding. Um, our, our wedding invitation business has been booming, and I think it's a testimony to people are ready to celebrate again and be together, and, um, and, and it's wonderful. We're really excited about that. So. so talk about some of these different examples Certainly. that you have brought here. So wedding invitations um, are very specific to the bride um, and groom or the couple, and so you are going to want to make it kind of set the tone, set the stage for your ceremony or your celebration. So we have everything from very traditional to very modern and everything in between, uh, every price range, every budget, um, we can help a, a couple set the stage for their wedding day. So wedding invitations, programs, menus, napkins personalized you know to match everything to coordinate we've got we've got any paper goods types of products you need for your wedding i mean it really is the very start of your story as it involves other people obviously it the does. engagement and all of that but when you open up and whether it's a save the date or it's the actual invitation absolutely it sets the tone absolutely i see that there are different sizes so what are you seeing right now um we have a a strong traditional element um, in this community. Uh, people really do enjoy a very traditional invitation, but you can add a little pizzazz, a little shush with, uh, if you do a square, square is very fun. That's awfully fun. Um, the smaller scale, people are really liking more petite these days. Um, brides are very conscientious of resources and paper. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be wasteful. Right. So a lot of times they will say, you know what, we don't need like 400 pound stock paper mm -hmm. that you know maybe was trending for a while. Um, but it really does, like you said, it's, it sets the stage, sets the tone for the party that they're about, about, about to celebrate, so. When it comes to sitting down because, I mean, I've been in, in cartwheels and you have so many different options. Mm -hmm. Unless you are that bride or groom who goes, I know exactly what I want. What does that process look like for the rest of us who are like, I don't know what I want, but I need somebody, and obviously you have the expertise, I need somebody to help guide me. And we love to do that. We, um, we work with brides all the time, couples, brides, grooms. They, they come sometimes together, sometimes a bride by themselves or with their mom. Um, so we just kind of talk with them and kind of get a handle on what kind of style they are looking for. Um, we're kind of the last stop as far as appointments go for, for couples usually. Mm -hmm. They've already got their venue, they've already got their caterer, they've already got their flowers. So they're kind of like breathe, breathing a sigh of relief, like this is the, the last piece of the puzzle, but it really, everybody else receives it first. Mm -hmm. So it's, they've already got a kind of an image in their mind of, of what they want most of the time. So it's pretty easy to direct them. And, and like Alexa said, it's such a fun time of life for a couple right. that it's, it's always an enjoyable experience. Even if they're stressed out about picking something, it's just, it's lovely. Because, I mean, chances are you're not gonna do this again. I mean, this, and this is such a, at least in this, in this fashion with the people who you're surrounded with. Mm -hmm. and so this is extremely special. This is a keepsake. Yes. A lot of us frame them. Absolutely. And still, I mean, I still look at mine every morning while I'm getting ready because I placed it somewhere and it, serves as this reminder. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, what are you seeing in terms of who is on the actual invitation? So for instance, this one, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so request the pleasure of your company at the marriage of their daughter. Are mm -hmm. you still seeing that more formal and traditional or 
are people kind of presenting themselves? Sometimes we do a together with their families. Mm -hmm. If the bride and groom don't want to list all of the the, the parents, because yeah. sometimes there's a big long list of that. <laughs> sometimes they'll do a son of under the groom's name. Oh, yeah. um, so that incorporates both, both sides of the family. The thing is about wedding invitations, there's no rules anymore. It right. used to be everyone's looked the same, everyone's read the same, no rules anymore. You can do exactly what you want to do and it's completely acceptable. You know, 20 years ago, that wasn't necessarily the case. But that brings me to when you look at your wedding invitation mm -hmm. framed on your wall, you want to look at that 20 years from now and love it still. So that's when, when people are looking at wedding invitations, what I say to them is think about if, I, if you're gonna love this 20 years from now when you look at it, when it's in the frame on your wall, so. As someone who works with her husband, I like having little reminders from way back <laughs> that then, special right? day. And I know he feels the same way, but it's the truth because it kind of, oh yeah, remember that? Mm -hmm. So you're exactly right. You want to be able it's to look time. at it. Yeah. So you have all kinds of paper products mm -hmm. and things, but you also have an array of great gifts. Yes, thank you. Uh, so we do have a little bride wedding section in our store that's dedicated just to weddings. So we have some gift items, um, tumblers, um, similar to Love what the, the one you were just, this, this is Bride Tribe and oh. this is Bride for your wine on the go. Um, we've got some stirs and some earrings, little bride bag, look how cute that is, precious. Gonna, Those little earrings are darling. I um, love the bride bag. Mm -hmm. oh. And yes, the Mrs. Earring, I'm gonna put my little brown skin on <laughs> Those are a little that. bit delicate compared they to the bigger delicate. ones. We've got the big giant pearl ones too that I think, I think Mom Lee has those too. Yeah. We have good taste, both stores, right? Isn't that nice when um, that happens? By the way, I just wanna let you know, Cartwheels is one of those locally owned businesses that truly supports other shops. I just, I appreciate that about you. I appreciate the fact that you've supported us because you get it that there's enough to go around oh, and yes. that we are stronger together. Absolutely. We don't small business, to. supporting small business is oh. huge in, in our store and in our square altogether. Chenoweth Square is made of all mm -hmm. locally owned and operated businesses. Love and it. we are all in it together. And if small businesses aren't here, you know, life would be very different. The landscape would be very different. You know that here in New Albany, it's just oh, yes. store after store of locally owned businesses. Mm -hmm. Just great. It's great for the community. So. It definitely is, and when you open up the pages of, I mean, local business, you know, business first, I always look for the positive, and then you see businesses that have closed, and mm -hmm. you, it, your heart just kind of hurts for them, mm -hmm, and for so sure. we have to support each other, but I love that about you. Can I hold your bride of course. bag? Of course. I've got to touch all the purses. Isn't that precious? This, oh, <laughs> yes. So, yeah. This is I, I also, this is something to purchase before you get married, but I also loved gifts like this mm -hmm. way back when, when mm -hmm. I got married, because you weren't the bride, always a bride. That's right. I agree with you. And you can carry it all, all year throughout your wedding pl process, planning process, and then beyond. You're, you're, you're always the bride. You're always the bride. Absolutely. He would agree, right? <laughs> he would. He, <laughs> he hasn't called me wifey yet. Right. I heard that he earlier. Maybe wifey. that's the newest nickname to I be added to the list. I think so. He's called me his bride. So what a great Sweet. gift for your anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> wank, wank. <laughs> There's no subtlety in there at all. But you and then we've got um, we've got notes that you can write to mom or dad, to your in-laws, the day of the wedding. Um, we've got cards, of course. The cellophane might be hard to read, but will you be bri my bridesmaid, my maid of honor? That's Aww. kind of a, that's kind of a nice way to ask your friends mm -hmm. to be participating in your special day. Uh, wedding planners, anything to get ready for your big day, um, we'd love to help. And if we can't help you, like you said, we will direct you, hopefully, to a locally owned business that can help you. What is the most fun about this for you? Because you've been working in, in particular, like we said, we're taught you're a great place for gifts, that is for sure, Thank and you. all things paper. But when it comes to weddings, I mean, what is your most favorite part? Meeting the couples. They're, I mean, they're in such a special time of their life. They're happy, they're excited. And like I said, we're the kind of the last step of appointments before right. the big day. So they are really ready and energized. Whereas at the beginning, they're kind of stressed out and freaked out about all the decisions they have to make. <laughs> when they come to me, they're kind of like, okay, let's do this. We can do let's this. Let's do this. So. Okay, I love asking for tips, especially mm -hmm. from somebody who knows. So just a few quick hits. 
how far in advance do I mail my invitations? You want to mail them six to eight weeks prior to your wedding. Um, I encourage eight weeks just to give, especially lately, the mail's been a little bit wonky. So um, I, I'd say eight weeks. If it's a destination wedding, I'd even go 10. Right. Um, but a lot of brides are doing save the dates too, so that if it is a destination wedding, mm -hmm. I encourage that. Put it on the calendar well in advance so people can plan their travel around that. Um, but you, you want to set your appointment with us um, to take a look at invitations about four to five months before the wedding, just to give you ample time, because mm -hmm. you've got to think about addressing, stamping, stuffing, and you don't want to be stressed, and you don't want to be last minute on that stuff. Now, granted, we have done turnaround in like two weeks before. It's not super enjoyable for the customer because they're stressed about getting them in the mail, but um, give but yourself you plenty of time. It. Give yeah. yourself plenty of time. And plenty of time makes things a, a lot easier. Mm -hmm. What about your advice on those people who see the RSVP, they see the date in which you would <laughs> like them to respond, they haven't responded yet, what do you do? Well, a lot of couples um, do reach out to the bra uh, to the the guests, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So um, we kind of encourage on the reply card on the back to put a little notation, a number, and then the bride and groom have a spreadsheet and each number is um, attached to a guest. That's smart. So that if they get a card back and it doesn't have a full, full name on it, okay. isn't filled out all the way, mm -hmm. or if they are missing a card, a number, then they know that those are the folks that they haven't heard from. So it kind of helps um, with that process. And really, young people especially, they don't really know how important that RSVP is mm -hmm. until they've had a wedding. Once, ki once these young people get married, they realize what it takes to, I mean, each person that is a guest is another table setting and everything. It's, it's a lot of, it's a lot. You think, oh, yes. they won't miss me. Well, they would if you if you RSVP and they didn't go. So I and you don't. I mean, it's it's like with motherhood. People will tell you things, and it isn't until you've gone through it. Oh, Absolutely. they were actually right about this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I remember, and don't hold it against you, but who didn't show up? Because then you not only are you thinking about, oh, okay, that did miss. Mm -hmm. You know, I did miss out on that. But I mean, there's a financial commitment that Absolutely. your your brides, your grooms are making. So yes, get those RSVPs yes. in there yes. and then... And if, if you don't hear from them, I say, you know, these are your people that you're inviting to your special day. Yes. Pick up the phone, call them, shoot them a text message. Most of the time, most people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you know, feel awful that they haven't responded. But um, all in all, m many people do send their reply cards back. Absolutely. For sure. And they're, they're coming. They just might be a, a few minutes. <laughs> they few might minutes, be a little tardy, days. but they'll be there. Yes, but they will be there. Yeah. Is this... I mean, do you wake up in the morning and just go, this is what I love to do? It's so great. I'm so lucky. I mean, this this is so much fun and to do, because like I said, this is the best time of their life and they're yes. excited and to be part of that and to be able to help them with that, it's just, I you love get it. get to play a role. I get to, I get to have a really, my job is pretty great, yeah. Okay, again, so for people who don't know, regardless, of course, we are in very proudly located over in Southern Indiana, but we have all kinds of guests and, and partners and things who are located on both sides of the river, which we appreciate. You Cartwheels is so easy to find. I'll let you tout that once again, because I know you also gave a shout out to some of your fellow local businesses. That's right, we are in Chenoweth Square, um, right in the heart of St. Matthews. It didn't take me very long to get here from the store at all. Um, quick jump over the river. And, um, and yes, it's locally owned merchants, the whole square. So if, come and spend the afternoon and stroll and have lunch. And yes. and we do have a, a very large group of folks from Indiana that come and, oh, and shop with I us. Oh, I know, yeah. I know. You shout probably out, know them. Shout out also from Regalo, which is down the street from us. And they thank you for not just being supportive to those in Chenoweth Square, but supportive of all of the various locally owned businesses. That means a lot. That's what it's all about.